Hey there guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to rotate the screen in Windows 10. And this could be because you've accidentally moved it and you want to put it back into place. And there is actually a really easy way to do this, which I will be teaching you in this video. So let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do is actually go into settings. So I'm just searching for settings in this search area here. And then once you open settings, you can see, let me just make this bigger. You can see an option here called system and you want to click onto this. So you will get all these options like scale and layout and you'll get the display resolution and also the display orientation. Now the one that we're interested in is the display orientation and this is because right now it's set to landscape now if you've accidentally put it onto portrait you just click back onto landscape and it will do the change it will make the changes for you but just say if you want to go to portrait instead of landscape you can see it changed and it gives you an option which would say is reverting to previous display settings in eight seconds and if you want to keep the changes you'll go ahead and click keep changes but for the purpose of it in this video I showed you, but I want to go back to what they were. So it has flipped back to landscape. Similarly, you can do landscape flipped, which will make it go upside down. And again, it will give you some time limit in which it will revert the change. I'm just going to wait for it to go back. And then the last option we have here is portrait flipped. So it's going to go the other way and again it will give you some time limit and within it you can keep the changes or revert the changes. So there you go, this is the way you will be able to change the orientation of your screen in Windows 10 and once you're done you can just close it and it changes it saves the changes automatically. So that's it for today's video until we code again thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment below with any new suggestions or recommendations you guys have and I will see you in my next video.